गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन Okay, uh, let's get started. In the last lecture, we were talking about how we could think of the total displacement for a particle, right? And here is where we stop. I told you about 37 degrees, right? Okay, so let's start with that. Okay. So if you've got a triangle, if you've got a right angle triangle, maybe this way, right? Okay, and opposite side of this angle is three and the adjacent is four, and this is a right angle triangle, so this will be five, right? So for such a triangle, for such a triangle, this angle will be 37 degrees because, because just like you do remember different values, this is one more value that you are required to remember. Sine 37 is very, very close to 3 by 5. Cos 37 degrees is very, very close to 4 by 5. And that means tan 37 degrees is very, very close to 3 by 4. Okay, so these are these are three values that I would ask you to remember. Okay. And of course, along with it, you would have it this way as well, sine 53 degrees, because this angle and this angle are complementary. So sine 53 degrees will be 4 by 5, right? Okay, cos 53 degrees will be 3 by 5. This is based on rules for complementary numbers, uh, uh, sorry, complementary angles, right? And similarly, tan 53 degrees will be 4 by 3. Okay, so these are some additional values that you have to remember. Okay, we use these values often in physics problems, right? Okay, now let's continue with what we were talking about, right? So here it's that we have got, we calculated the displacement of this person, right? Going here, going there, right? And this is what we got. Again, just to remind everyone that displacement is a vector, right? Displacement is a vector. It has a magnitude. It should also have a direction, right? Okay, so now on to the triangle law. Now you might be wondering why did I mention all this in triangle law, right? Okay, Gracie, yes, we are coming to what you asked, right? This topic is still how to add vectors, right? That is triangle law of addition. So the basic idea that I've taught you so far is as follows. If some person let's say moves from this point origin to some point a okay and then from there moves to b 
right? Let's say from O to A and then moves to B. Everyone, listen to this carefully. In the part one, the displacement the displacement of that person is from O to A, right? So that you could indicate by a vector from O to A like this. Again, everyone, it is that in the first part, the displacement is from O to A, right? Okay, maybe 30 meter. And let's say in the second part, the displacement is from A to B, right? So that is drawn as an arrow from A to B, clear, right? So there are two displacements, one from O to A and one from A to B. Again, displacement is a vector. That's why I'm drawing these arrows, right? Let's say this is 40 meter, suppose. Let's say that this is 40 meter. So now if I want to find the total displacement, total means addition, I hope you realize that. If I want to find the total displacement, then it is natural to take the displacement of part one and add it with the displacement of part two, right? But I hope you realize that the total displacement that is from O to B, the total displacement that is from O to B is actually in this way, right? Correct? Right, I hope all of you understood that. So this is exactly what the triangle of addition is. This is exactly what the triangle law of addition is. How? Well, have a look, have a look at the drawing that has come out on its own, right? When I've drawn, when I've drawn the displacement in part one, okay, here one side of triangle, then I've drawn the displacement in part two, okay, another side of triangle. And then when I draw the total displacement, when I draw the total displacement, then I'm getting the third side of the triangle, right? So that's why this is called the triangle law, right? So again, to clarify, if you think of the vector OA and with that you add the vector AB, then you are actually getting the vector OB. Is this clear, everybody? Adding one displacement with the second one gives us total displacement. See everyone, it is important to understand why we have this law and that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to explain. Otherwise, if I wish, I would have directly made you write the steps of the law, okay? And then you, you might never get the answer to why, why do we make a law like this? It will not be 70, Divya. It will not be 70, everyone. Okay. Right. Again, I, I want all of you see whatever I say, it's, it's going to be extremely crucial for the next one week or so. Right. It's going to be extremely crucial. If you have any minor doubt, you should definitely ask. If you, if you don't ask, then it's going to be a lot of trouble later on. Chintan, no, don't try to don't try to mix such things, right? This this has nothing to do with Pythagoras theorem. Everyone, what I have written so far has nothing to do with Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Follow. What what is essential? What is essential is. You understand that if you want to add two vectors, 
you make a, you have to make a triangle like this, right? So I said that if you take a displacement 30 meter like this, and you take another displacement 40 meter like this, then the total displacement is from here to there, right? So it's making a triangle. That's what I'm trying to teach you. So now it's about the triangle law. Okay, so here is the exact law or steps for triangle law. Okay. Right, let's see. So step one, draw, okay, we, we are just going to, we are just going to assume that we want to find or we want to add a vector plus b vector. Okay, so if we want to draw a vector plus b vector. Okay, so this is what we want to do, right? If we want to draw a vector plus b vector how would we do it okay how would we add them right how would how would we perform this addition let's start so the steps are as follows number one draw the first vector first vector that is a right draw the first vector that is vector a okay right then second step from the head of first vector from the head of first vector that is from the head of vector a draw the second vector draw the second vector so which is the second vector b of course right the second vector is b okay so what what are these two steps let's draw these so you will understand better okay i hope everyone has written the two steps there are more to come okay it's not over yet there are more steps to come first one so we will draw we will draw vector a let's say vector a is in this direction in what direction it is and how it is situated that will all depend on the question here we are just trying to practice how to do a vector plus b vector all right suppose a vector is some any random vector anything maybe like this okay and if we want to find a vector plus b vector how would we do it right i'm 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 describing the procedure right okay so that's a vector now what does it say from the head of first vector okay so this is the first vector a vector i i hope everyone realizes that this point is called tail of the vector right and this point is called head of the vector okay right i hope nobody has any kind of confusion with head or tail all right okay so let's continue uh, there was just a you know a problem with the internet connection it just dropped off and started again i hope all of you can hear me okay so let's continue are you all there can you hear me everyone can you hear me yeah All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it looks like you can hear me. So I said that this is a vector A and this is its tail and that is that is the head, right? That is the head. Now, follow the step two. What's the step two? From the head of first vector, that is vector A, draw the second vector. So from here, from this point, I will draw the vector B. So like, let's say, let's say vector B is in, maybe in this direction okay again i'm just giving you an example please don't ask me how do i know vector b is in this direction i don't know i'm just giving you an example that will make the process of adding clear okay right so so this is vector a and vector b drawn okay 
Now step two is complete. So let's talk about the third step. Let's talk about the third step. Step three. Draw a vector from tail of first vector to head of the last vector. Okay. Why am I writing first and last? You will know that later. Okay. Right now you just write it as I'm saying. Over, over the time you will understand what is the importance of writing first and last. Why didn't I write first and second? Okay. So what, what have we said here? We say draw a vector from tail of the first vector, right? To the head of the last vector. So of course here, here the first vector is A and we have drawn only two. So this is last vector, agreed? So from the tail of first vector to the head of last vector, we have to draw a vector, right? From the tail of first vector to the head of last vector, we draw one more vector, all right? Okay. And now, now it's time to name it it's time to name it. Okay, this vector, okay, the one that you have drawn now, this vector is a vector plus b vector. Okay, this vector is a vector plus b vector and generally when we add two or more vectors, we say that the answer or the total is the r vector. r stands for resultant vector. See, it's capital R, everybody. Okay, not small r. Small r stands for position. This is position. Right? Okay, so capital R stands for resultant vector. Right? And resultant means addition. Everyone. It's not difficult. Resultant only means addition. Right? That's it. So, where is A vector plus B vector here in this triangle? Well, here it is. I hope this is clear, right? You can clearly see this is making a triangle and hence the name and hence the name triangle law of addition, right? I hope, I hope it has been easy for you to understand how it's making a triangle and what's the exact procedure, right? You have to follow this procedure. See everyone, you have to follow this very procedure, right? Okay. So, that's the triangle law of addition. Now, if you will just go back and see what we have been talking about, it will make a lot of sense. Earlier, we did it as follows that if someone would start from here, have this displacement O to A, right? And then from A to B, right? Then we said that the total displacement is like this. See, which is the first one? This is the first one. And this is the last one, right? So from the tail of first to the head of last. So this is the vector OA vector plus OB vector, right? So you, that's why I'm saying this is total displacement. That's why this is the total displacement. So it's not a surprise actually. Listen to this carefully. The law was written, the law was made, the rule was made like this only because displacement adds like this everybody. This rule was made just like this because displacement adds in this way. Okay. 
આ લો સ્પેશિયલી ડિસ્પ્લેસમેન્ટ ને ધ્યાનમાં રાખીને જ બનાવ્યો છે આઈ હોપ યુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ દેટ ઓકે સો વી વી અન્ડરસ્ટુડ દેટ વેન એવર દેર આર વેક્ટર્સ ધે મસ્ટ હેવ ધીસ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ પ્રોપર્ટી વેન એવર દેર આર વેક્ટર્સ ધે મસ્ટ હેવ ધીસ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ પ્રોપર્ટી સો દેટ દે વિલ ફોલો ટ્રાયંગલ લો ઓફ એડિશન સો પ્લીઝ રિમેમ્બર દેટ every vector must follow this law every vector must follow this law of addition right whenever you add two vectors it can be done or must follow this law okay so that's about the triangle law of addition very quickly very quickly i will tell you something a word of warning that is suppose this is a vector a it is not or it is ob suppose this is a vector a and this is a vector b and let's say you let's say you join them like this then this is not a vector a plus vector b this is nonsense why what's the problem look at this have i drawn the second vector from the head of the first vector no you have to be very careful everyone i hope you realize that this does not follow step 2 this diagram does not follow step 2 yes or no okay so then if you make a triangle and say sir i got addition vector then this is wrong this is not addition vector it's actually something else right yes devi are you are right if you do it that way a vector will be its result anyways we'll talk about that later right so this is enough of warning at the moment don't do it like this okay so now that is the triangle law of addition of vectors let's go to the next law triangle law of subtraction okay so that is if you want to add vectors you have to make a triangle you have to draw a triangle and then that gives you the addition vector if you want to make a subtraction of vectors if you want to subtract vectors then once again you have to make a triangle right but the procedure is quite different listen to this carefully it can be confusing i'm warning you at start pay attention procedure is different from the triangle law of addition okay proceed procedure is going to be different so let's see how this procedure works again first of all i'm going to build your idea about it why why do we have such a triangle law let's talk about that why do we have such a triangle law of subtraction once again we are going to talk about displacement because the truth is that all of this all all the drama about vectors actually originates in displacement right when people realize that displacement is a vector and then displacement is a vector so velocity is a vector so acceleration is a vector so force is a vector so so many things are vectors and then suddenly we need to develop a separate branch of maths which deals with only vectors nothing else okay so let's see suppose this terrorist that we are we have been talking about was here let's say okay and now that there is roams around here and there okay and finally reaches this point okay right so finally the terrorist reaches that point all right so i i am absolutely sure that you agree that this point a 
should be called initial position. Oh, sorry. This point A should be called initial position. And suppose this point is B, then that point B should be called final position. Right? Okay. Here is origin. So first of all, I am going to draw the position vector. Okay. Again, what is a position vector? It's a vector drawn from origin to that point or to the point where object or body is located, right? I hope you remember this, right? I mentioned it yesterday. So let's draw the initial position vector. Okay, we are going to draw the initial position vector. Now that you have understood how this person moves, right, in a, in a weird path again, right? Let's say, let's say the path of that person from here is not straight, maybe like this, right? Roaming in the forest, okay. So let's draw the initial position vector. This is initial position point. Is this clear? Everyone, is this arrow clear? R1 vector, R1 vector stands for initial position. Is this arrow clear, everyone? Okay, very good. Right, fine. Is it that only 10 of you have understood? Then I think I should repeat. Not even 10. We are in single digit here. Are you sure others not clear? If it's not clear, please tell me. So please respond everyone. Okay, that that makes me think like I'm not teaching a laptop. Okay. I hope there are humans on the other end. So again, what is a position vector? You draw from origin, from here to the point where object is located. So we draw an arrow. That's why this is a position vector, right? This is not a graph, Kunal. Please don't look at the screen. Listen to what I'm saying. Audio is very important. I said that there is a person here, that person walks off like this and goes to this point. This is not a graph, okay? This is an actual person, which, person who moved from here to there, right? Okay. So now, here is the point B, right? So that's where the person is. So now it's time to draw final position vector. Can you tell me how I should be drawing final position vector from which point to which point? I should be drawing final position vector from which point to which point? Final position vector from which point to which point? Very good Priyansh, no follow up. Okay. The correct answer is the final position vector is drawn from, Are, dear friends, please read this, drawn from origin to the point where object is located. So here is the object at B. So I should be drawing the final position vector like this. Clear. So I, I hope those who said A to B, this is 
understood now. Okay. Right, fine. Fine. So it's time to go to the next thing. Listen to this very carefully. If I would ask you, if I would ask you that if you just ignore vectors for the time being, okay, ignore vectors, right? Uh, let me just erase it. I hope you have understood these vectors, but let me just erase those vectors, all right? Okay, we will draw it again, no problem. We will draw it again. Okay, right. Let's keep it simple. Okay, this guy walks from A to B, right? Can you draw its displacement vector? Can you draw this person's displacement? Where would the person's displacement be? Position vector tells you about position. Simple, Sahil. This is not about according to law of addition, Ayushi. I'm just asking you, forget about vectors. Where is the displacement of this particular person? It is from A to B, yes, very good. So many of you identified it correctly that the displacement is from A to B. So do you realize that this displacement does not depend on path and it should be a straight arrow like this. Is this clear? Is this clear that this is displacement? Yes or no? Again, that's because displacement does not depend on path, right? It only depends on initial and final position. Again, this is where photo method helps wonderfully. Photo method, right? Pella A upar joyo to. Barabar. Okay. Terrorist spotted. Pachi thodi kwaar aank band kar di di. Okay. Now eyes open. Terrorist spotted again at B. Right. So the displacement of that terrorist is from A to B. Right. As simple as that. Vache hi kyaan gira to ena di hoi kai farak na to. Right. So that's the photo method. Fine. So I I I. I think it's really essential for all of you to understand that the displacement is from A to B, an arrow like this, correct? A vector like this. Now, let me draw those two vectors again. Okay, let me draw those two vectors again, which I had just erased. So this is R1 vector, which is initial position vector. This is R2 vector, which is final position vector. Okay. And ta -da, we have a we have a triangle again, right? We are seeing a triangle, aren't we? Right? Okay. So how how does this work? Let's see. Everyone, I'm sure, I'm sure you know this formula. Jo a formula no avarti hoi, to kare karbo mehnat karwani jarurte. I'm sure all of you know this formula. Right? And this is nothing but displacement formula, right? This is displacement vector. Okay. So do you see we are subtracting here? Right? We are subtracting. Right? And when we subtract and we get the answer, so we draw this, we draw this, and when we draw this, we get a triangle. Have a look. Yes or no? I repeat, we are subtracting this and this and so when we draw all the three vectors we are getting a triangle jo me aji tamne law sikhwaydo na diva to triangle samjhi gaya ne 
I, I, I'm sure you realize that this is coming on its own, right? I have not taught you the law of subtraction yet, correct? So at the end of this class, I will tell you a very important lesson. The biology wala ne bau gum se, ane maths wala ne utha se ke ha bara bara yo. Okay, right. So Falak just said under thi aave se. How many of you agree with him? Falak said under thi jaave se. How many of you agree with him? So, jene under thi aayu ene physics samjhan. Okay. Right. Okay, fine. So you see, this is the triangle that we are forming here. So let's write, let's look at the procedure. How did we subtract actually? Think about this. Okay, first we know this is initial position vector. First we know, and then we know this is final position vector, right? And now, and now if you want to subtract them, let's say I want to find where is this vector, okay? Where is this vector, right? I, I want to draw this vector. So how I'll do it is, I take one head and another head and join them and put an arrow like this, correct? I repeat. I will join one head with the other head and I'll put an arrow on one side. On which side? On the final side. Do you see? On the final side. Right? Correct? I'll put this arrow not here. That would be wrong. i will put the arrow on the final side. Clear? And when I do that, I will get the delta R vector. Right? I hope everyone notices that. So let's write down the steps. Let's write down the steps of triangle law of subtraction. So here we go. Steps for triangle law of subtraction. Right. Ola J with pro Ola J much step say we will draw diagram also, right? So step one draw both vectors with common tail or same tail okay what is the meaning of this sentence how is you looking i go sorry well this is what it means suppose this is vector a and this is vector b Okay, is this point necessarily origin? No, not necessary. Any point, okay, but common tail, that's it. Okay, it can be any point, but it has to be common tail, right? From a common point, yes. You could say that. Draw, uh, draw both vectors with same tail or from common point, as you want to write, okay? Abadu Lakwanu important khali tamara mate chhe. what is more important is can you actually use this rule okay that's it go khe ne gya hoi scooter left side ma chala vai wrong side ma no chala vai barabar ne pan follow no karta hoi to su kam nu khabar no pade ke left ma kya de chala vai ne right ma kya de chala vai kya chala vai hacha Jem e thai to accident thai jai, right? I hope you understand that if you don't follow the procedure properly, there will be accident. Just like that, here also, there will be accident, right? In, in both situations, you will be badly hurt. 
you will not like the result in either case okay so step 2 step 2 join no sorry draw a vector draw a vector from head of b 2 head of b vector 2 head of a vector see this is important from where to where from head of b okay so we start from here all right we will start from here to where to where to head of a so till this point clear to the head of a so we have to draw a vector draw a vector from head of b to the head of a right so shoot it like this think of vector like a harpoon it will help i hope you remember what is harpoon right from b to a right we could draw from a to b ayush we will do it later okay just hold on that thought right now we are doing something else you follow it exactly as i am saying everybody you don't have liberty okay this, see this is this is just like if this is a road and you are supposed to go over here then you should be driving on the left if you are in india right okay to pachi tumhe evu ko to no chale ne sir thodu kaam jai ane pachi apne aam jasu that is not valid so do okay nahi you don't have any kind of liberty when you follow this law you have to follow it exactly right so let's name it now what is this that we have drawn right we have drawn something but what is it this vector is a vector minus b vector what you have drawn is a vector minus b vector okay so what we have drawn here this white one is the a vector minus b vector clear okay a very a very easy way to remember is like this this represents final and this represents initial i hope that it is clear so you should go from initial to final not final to initial right everyone or anything always goes from initial to final do you agree with this idea right okay i used to also make people remember it like this h minus t head pe lave ne h is first in alphabet isn't it right so head is at a and tail is at b have a look have a look at this vector Where is where is its head? Head is at where A is, and tail is where B is. Clear? Okay. So that is how you find or draw A vector minus B vector, right? Clear. Now see, suppose you want to draw the other way. Let's look at this way carefully, everyone. Okay. Suppose this is a vector, and this is b vector drawn with common tail or the same point or from the same point, right? And now I am giving you two choices or 
you know two possibilities let's talk about two possibilities oh sorry just a minute something is wrong here just give me a minute i'll just clarify yeah okay so if we draw it like this right that's option one okay and if we draw it if we draw it opposite like this that's option two so can you tell me can you tell me what is the vector one can you identify or can you name this thing what is this vector one what is this vector one It is displacement m nay. Look, look at this. We have followed the triangle law of subtraction, right? Yes. So vector one is a vector minus b vector. Okay. Vector one is a vector minus b vector. Okay. Right. And what is the vector two? Think about that. I want all of you to think about what is the vector two. Think about what is the vector 2. Very good. Displacement, nothing. You have to answer, Gracie. No, Dharmi, it cannot be addition. No, Ankita, wrong. Hard, no, wrong. It is not addition vector. We are not following rules of addition. No, it's not R. Yes, the correct answer, people, is B vector minus A vector. This is the correct answer. Right? This is B vector minus A vector. Where head is located, that is final. Not initial. Where head is located, that is final. Here is the head. So that's final. Right? So it is always final minus initial. Isn't it? It is always final minus initial. Right? So this is B vector minus A vector. Just like that here, the head is located at A. So this is final minus initial. See, some of you, some of you said that this is A vector plus B vector. Let me clarify why it cannot be like that. Okay, why it is not like this? We are not following step two. What is step two for addition? What is step two for addition? Everyone read that step. Please read that step, everyone. What is what is the step two? Please read it. Okay, everyone, please read it. Does this follow second step of addition? Does this diagram follow second step of addition? Right? So that's why, that's why this cannot be, that's why this cannot be addition, right? No way. There's no way that this is addition, right? I hope that is clear, right? This is B vector minus A vector. All right, so this is how you find it, clear? This is how you find it. Yes. No, I. Uh, yeah, you could say that. I wish you could say that. But first thing is, we have drawn the two vectors with common tail. We have drawn the two vectors with common tail, right? So that's not what we have in triangle law of addition, right? It's not possible to do that. Okay. So this is the procedure. Now, once again, if you would go back and realize what was the whole thing about displacement, you would, I'm sure, understand this better. Let's say a person starts from this point A, right? So this is the initial position vector. And then the person roams about here and there. We, okay, finally stops up, right? Oh, sorry, arrows like this. Okay, so this is the final position vector. 
And so now if I want to find delta r vector, it should be r2 vector minus r1 vector, right? It should be r2 vector minus r1 vector. So as we have discussed, right, as we have discussed, this vector will definitely be from a, vector, a point to b point, right? That is like this. So this is r2 vector minus r1 vector. I hope you are not at all surprised by this diagram now. Right? Kavya, it does not matter where vector A or vector B are. Okay. So, because you are having this question, I think many more people might have the same doubt or same question regarding this. So, let me just try one more example okay let me ask you what have i drawn everybody pay attention you have to tell me you have to tell me the vector that i am drawing what name what symbol would you give to it okay What's this vector? What is this vector? Come on. So we definitely have a split, right? Some of you are saying this, some of you are saying the other way. So a lot of people are going to get it wrong. Ria, there is no A and B here. There's no A and B. Dikshita, there's no R2, there's no R1. Come on, what are you doing? Look at the diagram carefully. There's no R2, R1, right? Ananya, there's no vector. Okay, this is D, right? This is not O. Bad handwriting, I'm so sorry. All right, let me, let me write it there. The correct answer is this is vector D minus vector C. This is the correct answer. Right? This is the vector D minus vector C. Right? Again, look at this. We have drawn them by common tail. Right? From same point. So this is definitely going to be subtraction. So we have possibility right now. C minus D can D minus C, right? But look at this. Where's this head of this vector here? And the tail of this vector is here. Right? So this is definitely D vector minus C vector, right? Not this, this one. Clear? All right. So what I mean to say is you don't have to worry where is which vector. You just have to follow the procedure and every time it will give you this proper result, okay? That's why I've made you write these steps clear so that, so that you will never be confused, right? Okay. So what was what was that sentence which I was going to say about all this? See, everyone, please realize that all our mathematics, all the maths that you see in this world has arisen from nature. That is, when we observe nature, we, we tend to see some patterns, some rules that nature has made. We tend to see some rules or patterns that nature has made. So the same thing happens here, right? The same thing happens with addition. Okay, Preet, I'll answer your question. Let me just finish what I'm saying, right? So here, why, why do we have a triangle law like this for subtraction? law See, there's one difference between laws of physics and laws of laws mentioned in constitution. Okay, or laws that Supreme Court will make everybody follow, right? These laws, we have not made them. See, you might have a doubt. Have we made these laws? No, we have not made these laws. Okay. 
has newton has newton made laws of motion no wrong no incorrect newton did not make laws of motion okay new right newton is not like uh, those many people who wrote indian constitution right the great people who wrote indian constitution newton is not such a person right delivered that's also wrong vedant the correct way to say it is newton merely discovered right by observing things newton mere, merely or only discovered it and he wrote it as a sentence that he is observing so and so things that's it right that's it that's what he observed okay that's right for luck exactly yes rayan khan this is applicable in all cases right so you should understand you should understand that some people you know some students ask me sir what if we don't follow physics laws are tumhare tevad ad nahi physics na laws follow karva j pade karan ke nature e banayva che yes कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाला लॉज फॉलो न करो तो तुमने पनिशमेंट आप सके नेचर लॉज फॉलो करो नहीं पॉसिबल इफ यू डोट फॉलो सी देट एक्चुअली एट द हार्ट ऑफ साइंस सपोज समन फाइन्स और समवन इज एबल ओके समवन इज एबल टू वायोलेट लॉ ऑफ नेचर सपोज समन इज एबल टू वायोलेट अ लॉ ऑफ नेचर देट मीन्स अवर अंडरस्टेन्डिंग ऑफ नेचर इज रॉन्ग that means our understanding of nature is wrong no follow you are wrong law follow kaira wager physics ma kai no thai that is wrong law follow kaira wager possible ad nahi nature itself nature itself works on these laws okay so even if you move your hand you are following the law nobody nothing has the power to go against the true laws but like i have said nobody knows which laws are true it's just that we study nature we keep on studying nature we try to understand how nature works and we find out these laws kale kok ne khabar padi ke aa law barabar nahi chalto and i can violate that law so we will not kill that person we will not give punishment to that person rather we will say okay this law is not good change the law okay it means our understanding will improve right now the question that preet was asking yes correct vedant the question that preet was asking right how do we know whether we have to draw a vector minus b vector or b vector minus a vector it will depend on situation for example suppose you you talk about this person moving from preet i hope you are there otherwise you will miss it and others will take the learning from your question so suppose a person was here this person moves here and there and goes over there so in this position i want to find this vector correct i don't want to find this i hope you realize that finding this is useless right correct preet i hope you realize finding this is useless because if you want to find displacement we should find this correct so i hope now you have understood how will we know whether we have to find this or this it depends on situation right it will depend on situation jevi situation apne evite find kari lesu right apanne be rite avadu joy that's it okay right so i think that's enough for today see you all tomorrow Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.